Okay, this is video um, 1.1 or part 1.1 on expanding brackets. Uh, have a look at the other videos on the in this area for other skills, including simplifying expressions, which you probably need to watch before you watch this one. Okay, now we're going to look at all the things that you need to do in terms of expanding brackets uh, for GCSE, um, but we're going to go slowly and we're going to build up. But first of all, we're going to look at what a bracket is. Now we know that 2 times by 3 is equal to 6 but if you put that into a calculator as 2 bracket 3 it will also give you the answer 6 or if you put the 2 in a bracket it will give you the answer 6 so brackets are used to ex do multiplication because what that's saying is we've got two lots of the number 3 or we've got two of everything inside this bracket well, in this case, the bracket's 3, so we've got 2 lots of that 3, which is 6. Or we've got everything in this bracket multiplied by everything in this bracket. Well, 2 times by 3 is also 6. So try that on your calculator if you're not convinced. But that's what brackets are used. It's for a way of collecting together a number of terms and then multiplying that term by the number outside. Now, in this case, it's just one term inside the bracket. But if I did it something that looks a bit silly but just bear with me 2 lots of 2 plus 5 okay now we've got 2 lots of the 2 and 2 lots of the 5 which if we write that down underneath we've got 2 lots of the 2 which is 4 and we've got 2 lots of the 5 which is 10 so in total we've got 4 plus 10 which is 14. Now if you think about the the bracket itself, we, instead of writing 2 plus 5 we could have written that as the number 7 and 2 7's are 14. Okay. And this is a way that some people get around the, their fear of multiplying s by the number 7. You can split the 7 up into two numbers and then multiply the, the number you're times, times in by the 7 by both of them. Now, if I explain what I mean, you can do it like this. 6 times by 7. Well, rather than doing 6 7s, you can do 6 2 plus 5, because 2 plus 5 is 7. So, we're still doing 6 times by 7, because inside that bracket's the number 7. We've just split it up into two other numbers. Now, 6 times by 2 is 12. 6 times by 5 is 30. And if we add those two together, we get 42. So it's one way around multiplying by the number 7. Now there's different ways that we can structure this answer. It's mathematically it's identical, but there's different ways that we can structure it. So instead of writing it like that, we could write it like this. 6 times by 2 is 12. And 6 times by 5 is 30. And if you add those two together, you get 42. Or you can multiply it out in a grid. So if you watch our videos online about multiplying with grids, it's often the nicest way to structure your answer. So we've got 2 plus 5, 6 twos are 12, 6 fives are 30. Add those two numbers together, and you get 42. Now, what we've done there with numbers is what we're going to do with what you will call algebra. But it's just with unknowns, numbers that we don't know yet, or numbers that vary. So we can put X's and A's in, basically, and it's exactly the same mathematics. The number outside tells us how many of the things inside the bracket we need. We can split it up into two bits. We can write it like this, or we can write it like that. Now, I recommend students start off by writing it like this, particularly when we come on to do double brackets. But I also had lots of students who can go straight from the bracket straight to this step and then to the answer. So we've done it with numbers. We've shown how you can do it with the numbers. Okay, so we're now going to move on to do the same idea with algebra, what you will call with algebra. So here's our first question. We've got six lots of A plus 4. So the number inside the bracket is a plus 4 and we need 6 of those. 
Okay. Now, one way of doing that would be to write a plus 4 plus a plus 4 plus a plus 4 plus a plus 4. You've got the idea, haven't you? I need to do two more of them. Can't fit them in in the row. But if you just think about that being on a long line. So there's six of those brackets in total. Now, if you add up the a's, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 a's. And if you add up the 4, you've got 6 4's, or 6 4's are 24, so that would be that. Now, you could do it that way. But if I then wrote the question down 600 lots of A plus 4, well, you can tell me quite quickly that I'd have to write this bracket out 600 times. And that would be a silly way of doing it, and a long way of doing it. When all we need to do is realise that there's 600 of those A's and 600 of those 4. Okay, and we can expand the bracket that way. So let's looking at a more simple example. 3x plus 2. So we've got three lots of this bracket. And then the two ways I'm going to recommend you do it, well you think, well, we, if we've got three lots of this bracket, we've got three lots of the number inside this bracket. So we've got three of those x's. And we've got three of those 2's. Well, three 2's are 6. So we get the answer 3x plus 6. We've expanded that bracket. We've made that bracket, and then we've taken the bracket, and we've expanded it into one expression. We could have also written it like this. 3 lots of x plus 2. So 3x times by x is 3x, and 3 times by 2 is 6. So add those two terms together, and we get 3x plus 6 is the answer. Same answer, two different methods. Now again, this way is probably better for students who are finding this difficult, but for those students that can do it in their head or quickly, then that's a better way. And with time, you don't need to draw the arrows. <coughs> Here's one for you to do. Okay, so pause your video and see if you can do that one any way you prefer. Okay, well, doing it the the quicker way, if you like, 4x's are 4x, and you've got to be careful here. 4 times by negative 3 is negative 12. Now, negative numbers is a subject that causes a lot of students a lot of problems. In fact, a lot of the time, the students understand the mathematics they're doing, they get the answers wrong because they can't understand negative numbers. Now, what I would recommend you do is go and watch the videos on negative numbers that we've got on our site and if there aren't any good ones on there or if we haven't got any yet I'll put some on there later um, but you really must understand negative numbers if you're going to get a good grade at GCSE the other way of doing it would be to say 4 lots of x minus 3 like that now 4 times by x is 4x and 4 times by negative 3 is negative 12 and if we add those two together we get 4x minus 12 Okay, so that's expanding brackets. Two ways of doing it, you get the same answer each time. Now all we can do then, as an examiner, or as a maths teacher, is make the questions a little bit more complicated. So rather than putting a number outside that you know, we can put an unknown outside. So here's a question. Now I'd like you to see if you can do that question now without my help. So, pause it. Okay, well, the answer to this one is x times by x is x squared and x times by minus 2 is minus 2x. Now if you're not happy with x times by x is x squared then can you go and watch the video which I um, will be in the section, I, I'm not sure what number it is yet but it will be on indices and powers. Look at the video on indices and powers and that should help with that. Okay, or the other way, we split the x minus 2 into x and minus 2, and x times by x is x squared, and x times by minus 2 is minus 2x, so we get x squared minus 2x. Okay, those are the same value, the same numerically, it's just one has been expanded, this has been expanded, we have multiplied them, bracket out. Um, so that we have completed the multiplication.
next one then, 2x times by x squared minus 4, so this is a jump in difficulty at this stage. Okay, now, 2 times by, 2x times by x squared is 2x cubed, and 2x times by minus 4 is minus 8 x and again watch the video on indices if you found that difficult this the method is the same with times in the thing outside the bracket the number if we need this number of this number well this number is made up of two terms so 2x times by x squared is 2x cubed and 2x times by negative 4 is negative 8x or we could write it in bracket uh, in a t grid. Now the more complicated they get the more likely it is that the grid will help you. Now the x times by the x squared gives us the x cubed and the 2 times by the 1 gives us 2 so that gives us 2x cubed and 2 lots of minus 4 is minus 8 and that's minus 8x's. So again you get the same answer 2x cubed minus 8x. Okay. So I'm going to write you four questions underneath that you can try for yourself and then video 1.2 will be on the harder exp um, expanding brackets where we do more than one bracket at once. Okay, they are your four questions. So write them down, pause the video and try doing them yourself. That is a B, not a 6, and that is a negative 3 there. So just be careful with that one. Okay, if you haven't already done the answers, then try them now because I'm about to show you them. Okay, here are the answers and hopefully you got them right. Now the one that you might have got wrong is question 3, so I'm going to go through that one now. Um, using the idea of the grid, Um, negative 3 times by x is negative 3x. Now, negative 3 times by negative 4 is positive 12. Now, if negative numbers are still causing you problems, please go and fix them, because it's very important that you understand how to do negative numbers. Um, now, we can write the answer as 3x plus negative 3x plus 12, or 12 m minus 3x. They're both the same. Okay, so hopefully you found that um, you got those answers correct.